<laughs> oh boy i tell you anybody else out there end up having to take any kind of uh, pharmaceutical drugs uh, to help support existence uh, i have a couple of them some of it well not happy about some of it but that's the way it goes anyway i take a couple of pills these days um i have found that uh, i can get rid of a lot of the blood pressure medication by using delta 8 thc but nevertheless i do take some pills made by the major manufacturers and you know what i always figured telling me what pills i should be taking or need to take it's my doctor's job that's what i believe because they're the ones who are supposed to understand the medical conditions and understand maybe what the drugs do and so on you know and th they seldom get it right every now and then but they actually seldom get it right for me when they'll prescribe something because they think i have a condition if i bother to go for it because it's important enough to me uh, i don't usually find good results from most of the drugs that's why I like to use herbal supplements. They tend to work better and have less side effects. Well, anyway, TV commercials on pharmaceuticals. <laughs> Don't you just hate them? I, I, I don't remember exactly when it started a few decades back that they began to advertise things I mean, at, at one time you know they'd advertise excedrin bear aspirin peptabismol you know these over-the-counter type things that people tend to use you know yeah, and the headache comes up and meets in the front of my forehead like two bull goats let me see that baby elephant walk i think was a tune that was behind that yeah anyhow it sticks that was in the 60s i think it sticks all right and uh no i'm not a big tv watcher yeah yeah, about the only thing I watch on the regular broadcast TV here is the morning news. I'll let the local news roll over a bit into the uh, world or national uh, until they start getting on, you know, what happened on Dancing with the Stars last night. Then it's click and get this junk out of here. But in the meantime, I find myself inundated with pharmaceutical commercials. They're, they're big these days. Man, so many of them. Now, going back early on when some of this got started, you know, for the most part, pharmaceutical commercials um, co-opted top 40 music, mostly from the 60s and 70s, I guess. But I would hear some of my favorite songs, all right? Now, the day that uh, it wasn't a pharmaceutical commercial, it was Toyota, had... Um, uh, Hendrix Voodoo Child, The Slight Return. You know, <laughs> I'm standing next to a mountain and I chop it down with the edge of my hand or with my Toyota pickup. Yeah, it was just sacrilegious. <laughs> it was not right. I, I felt very bad about it. Um, and then you'd hear these top 40 songs a lot of times behind pharmaceutical commercials. Well, the only good news about that and I, was that when I went away from the commercials and it was stuck in my head, I was listening to Aretha or I was listening to Wilson Pickett or something I like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix. But I used to think that it was, it was really a diss to have that good music applied to these commercials like that and be associated with that I, I like it well at some point they changed yeah and now these days if there is a jingle they wrote it most of the time yeah man i mean there's a few of them that, and i can't get them out of my head and i hate them and every time they start to come up i'm hitting the mute because they just offend me again if, if there's a drug that's needed for my existence, 
I'm not looking at the TV, picking it up and going into the doctor and going, hey, I saw this on TV yesterday, doc. You know, they were they were having so much fun. Everybody was so happy. I need some of that. And while well, doc would say, well, you know, Bill, that's for female menopause. Oh, yeah. But they were happy. I want it. <laughs> you know, I, half the time I don't even know what these drugs fix. That's really true. You don't even know what the heck they're for, but they get that name and that jingle stuck in your head. Uh, so it's worse. I, yeah, I was much happier when they used Aretha, you know, as a soundtrack behind those commercials. But they do work. They stick. I know they do because, uh, and I do not go shopping for drugs for myself. Yeah? I mean, on occasion, I will research herbal supplements. Yeah, that I do. But I don't go shopping on drug, for drugs. Let me see. What do they got out there? What can we get the doctor to give me? Uh, no, it doesn't happen. So, yeah, like I said, I leave it up to him if he thinks that I'm going to drop dead if I don't take that stuff. Well, we'll give it a try, you know. As I said, they do work because the other day I was shopping for drugs for the cat. Yeah, we had, had a prescription for some real nice pharmaceutical uh, high-end uh, flea uh, ear mite not at all, worm control from the vet, you know, for the cat's issues. Well, it's running out. And, uh, well, the prescription's lapsed. My cat does not like going to the vet. And so I, I don't see the purpose here. There's a lot of non-prescription that is probably just as good, I hope. So I go on Amazon and I'm looking at all the cat stuff and Soresto. Oh yeah. Why do I know Soresto? Oh, it's on TV. They advertise it all the time. Oh, I thought it was for people. It's for cats? Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I guess that's why they give the dog the meaty chew, right? Oh, I thought that was for me. Yeah, I, honestly, I, <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't pay that much attention. I just hear the jingles and hear the names, and they do stick, you know. I will probably continue watching the morning news on local networks and I will continue putting up with the commercials but lately I've noticed that the people are not just happy and there's music going on they're dancing yeah pay it take a look yeah, check them pharmaceutical commercials out almost every one of them ends up with people dancing you know they're dancing <laughs> well you know what that really bothers me I mean, if they got a pill that can make me learn how to dance properly, I might consider taking it. Is that the side effect of these pills? Is people dance endlessly, you know, after they take them? <laughs> During the whole period of time in my life, this is a young man, a teen, young adult, where I should have been learning how to dance with another human partner, right? Uh-uh. I had a guitar in my hand. I was dancing with a guitar because I was on the other side of the stage all the time. I was never out there dancing with the girls. I was up on the stage playing the guitar. I never learned how to dance right. I mean, I tried, you know, I've, I've tried. Uh, believe me, I've tried Western line dancing, square dancing, rock and roll dance. I've tried it. I'm pathetic. Everybody's glad to let me know. You're terrible. Yeah, I know. <laughs> If they have a pill that'll let me dance, I might consider it. But I don't think that's why they're dancing. <laughs> and it offends me that they're dancing, because I can't dance. It hurts my feelings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then so, last on medicine. Medicine, medicine, medicine. Holy smolies. Uh, anybody read the article about the German guy who somehow managed to get himself 217? COVID vaccinations? Wow! <laughs> He's a case study because, you know, you got all these people out there going, oh, no, don't take vaccines. There's a whole wing of Ellen's family that are uh, evangelical Christians that hey, won't touch it. It's evil. We'll die if we take the vaccine. <laughs> they even, you know, anyway. Yeah, I'm familiar with a few people out there who are that twisted, have that much fear, you know, about things. Well, this guy 
I don't know, it said for personal reasons. I have no idea what that means, and it's not described. But he did manage somehow or another to get himself vaccinated 217 times. And they have studied this guy. And what they have found out is, well, he seems to have a few more T-cells than the guys who only got regular vaccinations. All right, so he's a little more heavily protected than the rest of us are, but not 217 times. And he has no negative health effects. All you people out there who tell me that vaccine's poison, it's a scam, it's a microchip, Bill Gates, and all this crap. Okay, you're all wrong. The vaccine's quite safe. Whether it works well or not, I don't know. The guy never caught COVID. (laughs) He never got it. Um, And there don't appear to be any negative health effects. I mean, that is ridiculous. 217 vaccinations. I mean, like I've had maybe like four, you know. Uh, (laughs) Most of us had, you know, two to four vaccinations or maybe five. I don't know. It depends on who you are. But. 217 vaccinations. The guy's standing. He's healthy. He looks good. The vaccine is not poison, people. You're wrong. You're following BS on social media is what's happening to you. Okay. I'm just putting that one on the end of this because I am so sick and tired of hearing from the anti-vaxxers. You guys are full of it. This guy proved it, dude. He proved it. Okay. You're completely full of it. Hang loose. All right. Aloha. Have a good one.